Hey guys, Denise Salcedo here for Red Carpet Report. Today we're at the Archer School for Girls for a taping of Fab Lab, a new show aimed at getting young girls to enter the field of science. Okay, so Fab Lab, you know, yes. we, we're learning a lot of things outside. We just saw really cool experiments. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you, have you always been like a science person or good at math? Well, I'm, I'm a huge math nerd, but um, science was never really my thing, but my entire family is in science and medicine. So I grew up surrounded by these women who were skilled professionals in science and math and and all of these, of all of the STEM fields. And um, that sort of gave me the opportunity to, to dream beyond whatever roles society presented to me, and which is why I was able to accomplish my dreams at such a young age. So I think it's so important to, to encourage girls to really pursue and, and explore every field, whether that be in STEM or in the arts or whatever it is that they love. Because it's, that's what, everybody has something special that they can offer to the world and only by educating yourself and exploring all, every, anything and everything can you find that. And getting those opportunities to do those things. It's exactly. like not everyone gets those opportunities. Exactly. So let me ask you, have you ever had an invention or something that you wish was invented by somebody? <laughs> well, when I was a kid, I went to this um, summer camp that was a science camp because my mom was a scientist and I thought it would be fun. Um, and it ended up being like an invention camp and we all had to make an invention. And so I went down to my grandfather's um, workroom where he had a bunch of old motors and stuff and I made an electric array. Racer. I still have it somewhere. You like plug it into the wall and it's got gears and things turn. I don't know. I th it, it was better in my head than it actually turned out, but I, it, you know, it was a fun ex exercise and it showed me that, you know, I really could make something out of nothing. Let me ask you, I did not expect you to say an electric eraser. That yeah. is so cool. How did the idea even come about? Well, because I'm a huge math nerd and even though I love it, I still used to make a lot of mistakes and I would spend lots of time erasing and erasing and erasing every time I was trying to learn something. So uh, I, my arm would get tired, and I was trying to find an easier way to take care of that. So there you go. That's smart. It always starts with a problem and then a solution. That's what, it, that's what it's all about. It's all about starting with problems and finding solutions. And that's something that I think as each generation comes about, they, each generation is more open and can see things in a different way. And that's something even, even on Shadowhunters that we explore. You know, there's an older generation of Shadowhunters and a younger generation. And because the younger generation is more open and sees the world in a different way, they're able to find new solutions to old problems and that's true of, of any society in any world whether it be the shadow world or our own. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you about Shadow World. I'm Shadow Hunter. So what's going on right now and how has everything been going? Ooh, so lots is happening right now. Up until episode seven, we were kind of doing a lot of setup and establishing relationships and characters, but now all of the consequences of our actions are starting to come to fruition. So Jason and Clary have finally kissed for the first time, so their relationship is blossoming in a nice way. But then Simon shows up dead and he's now a vampire, so we're kind of dealing with the consequences of Clary dragging her best friend into the shadow world and and she's made a lot of choices and he's followed along with her but now it's literally cost him his life so they're dealing with all of those consequences as he's a part of the shadow world in a new way and last episode was very heartbreaking and next episode holds a lot more in store as they deal with this impending war that's happening and I think you should definitely put your idea about the sign the electric eraser and throw that it into the show to happen it needs to happen for math students everywhere trust me <laughs> well thank you so much for talking to us today we hope you have a lot of fun and hopefully we get to do more experiments out there. That would be great. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you guys for watching our coverage of Fab Lab. Make sure to leave us a comment below letting us know are you team math or are you team science? Also give us a thumbs up if you like our videos and make sure to subscribe to our channels for more.